Today, I wanted to show you something a little bit different. It's particularly about glassware. And when you're doing your setups, the thing about doing glass, you, you think, oh, I don't know about doing that. Oh yes, you look at it and you study how it goes and you can do it. I know you can. And it's kind of fun. Now, when I did this, this, this is an oil. And my husband went out in the field and got some sunflowers, but those sunflowers fade fast. So I went ahead and took a photograph. So I had something to, to go by. But when you're doing a vase, you want to really make sure it's the same on both sides. So you know a real good way to do it is to put your ruler on it and you measure it with a see-through ruler so you can see if you've drawn that thing right. And it's just a good thing to do that. Now, I want you to notice the water line here and the little curve here. Well, and here's some cloth coming up around it the, and the royal blue. But see how the greens above the water are a different color and then the stems down here are a different color. It's just good to do different kinds of vases, different colors. And you know, one of the things that's interesting, here's one that, now this is just a G clay of a larger one, watercolor that I did. Well, I did it in oil first and went to a national show and it sold before the show started. So this one I decided, oh, I've got to do a little watercolor of that. So I have, but look at this vase, how the leaves, and all this is dark up above, but then the stems just come down and they show through. And then look at the little tiny bit of water line. You don't have to show the water line all the way across. This first one, the water line was all the way across, but the way I saw it, the way the light was, was just a little bit on the side. So that's a fun way to do your color vases or clear vases. Now, I want to show you this. Here's a colored goblet that I loved and so I put it in this painting and then I had a candle in it. Well look at the different colors depending upon how it was. It was sitting on this doily and so down here it had kind of a gold. It was lighter and then the way the shadows were it was orange, just really orange. And then look at the little tiny line across. You can paint awesome glassware just by looking at it. It's so fun to do. I would like to challenge you for that. Now, this one, this is one of my favorite and probably one reason it is, is because, and this, this one has some of my flowers from my flower garden, but I want you to look at this little vase, the way I did this. Now, a lot of people use miscuit, and that's kind of like rubber cement stuff, and you can use that if you choose, but I like to the challenge of painting without it. So I did this little basket just like I saw it, but because the handle was in front of this background, I had to use this background color to fill in the handle where the designs were. And then these are little, um, some little, necklaces that are crystals from Vienna that were my aunts. And so I just got them draped all over. Look at the things you can do for a setup. Is that fun or what? And here's cherries, then my doily. Oh, I love doing doilies. I've got to talk to you about that later on down the line. But this one, this particular doily for the white, I simply left the white of the paper. And you don't have to use Miskit to do that. You can just look at your doily, see where the holes are, do your design. And then that's that's my little wood wooden uh, table that's underneath that it drapes over. So I love, I love doing setups because you just get an awesome, awesome color with it. Now I want to show you this. This one is from my kitchen window. And the reason I want to show you this is because this is a royal blue. And I love royal blue. I love painting royal blue stuff. And so this, this one's on terra skin. Everything else was on, well, that a couple things are oil, but the other things are wa on watercolor paper. But this one, you can see the way this picture is, the light is coming through the window. And so this royal blue is different 
than some royal blues. I got to show you so you can compare this one. I want you to see this one. This one was just simply a setup. It's the same vase, the same thing as this one. But look at the difference in it. Yes, it has a dark background and it helps it to come forward. But this is the same vase. It doesn't have the same vibrancy that this one has. I love I love the vibrancy of that royal blue. And then I have to tell you, a man in our church that raises beautiful dahlias. Oh my, he does dahlias like you wouldn't believe. So I have to tell you about this painting. Now this one's oil, but we have a man in our church that raises beautiful dahlias. Ah, huge, huge things. Well, one day he brought me this dahlia. I mean, that thing was so big. So I got my royal blue vase, one of them, and set it there by the east window, and I let the light shine through, and so then I did the oil from that. And look, you know that that's a royal blue vase, just like some of my other ones, but it's just, it's only there as a compliment. It's not the main focus. My main focus is my flower. So it's awesome. When you start doing setups, think about what some of your favorite things are, because I want to tell you, you're going to paint better doing something that you love. So find something you love, go painting, enjoy it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed the video, give me a like, and I'd appreciate you subscribing to my channel. Thank you.